So I'm outside of Antwerp, Belgium right now, and uh, this is a, a ghost town, basically. It's almost an entirely abandoned town by the name of Dole. This town is sandwiched in between a nuclear power plant and a gigantic port. It's actually the second largest in Europe. And back in the 60s and the 70s, Belgium wanted to expand that port and make it even bigger. This is, uh, imagine living here. Really strange. If you've ever seen House of Wax, a crazy movie, this is kind of what it feels like. If it didn't have all the graffiti all over it, it would definitely have more of that feel, but it still it still does. It's, it's bizarre walking around here. This almost completely deserted town, pronounced Dole or Duel, sits near the border of the Netherlands along the River Skelt. Eerily quiet here. Once a thriving community of 1300, the population of stray cats far outweigh the 20 or so residents that still remain. Now everything is boarded up and overgrown, condemned, full of graffiti, vandalized buildings and properties. I think this is, uh, this is the school. Now the government is well aware of the situation, well aware of the fact that people like to come here. So there are cameras. Every once in a while, those little temporary uh, security cameras that you see at Walmart or wherever. And um, any access holes, you know, I'm sure it's hard to keep up with it when it's an entire town, but they've put metal over all of the windows and the doors but you can still, I mean, come on, you can still get in some of these. I don't know what's in them, but to me, it's just, I just love even just walking around. Uh, every once in a while you can see where one someone clearly lives. What I think is weird is that they live in this town at night. It, I'm sure it's filled with kids and urban explorers doing graffiti, vandalizing the place, and they're living in this town off by itself. I mean, there's really nothing around. Not, nothing immediate, at least. Homes and stores where families lived and worked and built their lives local pubs and restaurants and meeting places. It was all here and it still is, but just in the form of a shell of what it once was. You know, there's a long history, hundreds of years old. Something was here at least 700 years ago, but this actual town was established about 400 years ago. You know, the, the fate of this town has been in limbo for decades. Over those years, surrounding towns were completely erased, swallowed up by the impending port of Antwerp, yet somehow, Duel managed to survive. Yeah, so there's a few people that still live here, so randomly it looks like someone lives up here, because those windows are in good shape. So this is the Ortilius. It's all in Dutch, so unfortunately I cannot read it. But apparently this is a pretty well-known boat or ship. garage 
I mean, if you look close enough, you can see like this is a there's a, this is a driveway. This removal was a slow process. Uh, it started way back in the 80s into the 90s. Half the residents left prior to the 2000s when they were offered a cash premium to sell with an underlining threat that for those who refused would lose their homes sometime down the road. Then in the mid 2000s, the squatters came in, the scrappers, the vandals, with half of the town gone, those abandoned buildings started to fall into disarray. More and more of the local restaurants and cafes and stores closed up. By the mid 2000s, this town was absolutely going to be wiped off the map. The same fate that surrounding towns had seen. It's like a breeze, breezeway in between the two houses. I don't think there's a way to get in there. Nah. Look at this one. Completely caved in. So I don't really want to go in there. side bathroom a little toilet in there off the side of the house that's a fantastic idea this is the smallest church around possibly these are lamp posts look how old these are They're awesome looking. The faces on it. This area has a strong septic stench. Really bad. Like, definitely a burst pipe or something. Possibly coming from the train. <laughs> Who knows? But the existing inhabitants put up a strong fight in the courts, successfully stopping the government from executing these plans. As of 2022, Duel is allowed to exist due to a compromise that happened. According to news sources online, former residents who sold their homes to the government years ago will soon be able to repurchase them. But who would want to live here again? A town surrounded by industrial property off by itself. And these homes have been sitting here, some for decades, rotting away. Will the government help reconstruct these? The damage is done. The people have left. So who knows what will happen now?
Somebody has put cat houses everywhere. But it's just so weird. You just, it's, this is in the dense overgrowth. This used to be a lawn and a property. Oh, you can get in here. I knew you could. Imagine this was your house. And you were forced to leave. Kitchen. This is the, a window in the bathroom. <laughs> That's really strange. All right, there's no way you can get down to the basement. It, it is, I mean, you can get down somewhat, but it's flooded. It's a couple feet of water under there. So definitely not going in there. You know, in a lot of ways, it reminds me of Centralia, uh, the one that Jay, Journey with Jay and I just did a video about. Whereas, yes, there's no buildings left in Centralia, but it's kind of the same thing. The people were forced to move. They fought for their town to remain. It still somewhat does remain, and now just single digits live there. Um, that's interesting in its own right, because that's the town with the fire that's burning underneath in the ground from the mines whereas this uh, just kind of the people got pushed out look at these things in the middle of the town that's wild so I guess they patrol it They don't want that to disappear, so they have that fenced off. I think this church is still used. Yeah, there's cameras everywhere and alarm systems in this, so. So this is the town's gas station, or what was one of the town gas stations. And this is the pump. I guess it was a mechanic's garage as well. So what is the fate of this town? As of 2022, pretty recent, um, I believe it, it was one in the courts where they can keep the town. The town can remain. A lot of it, or some of it at least, has been torn down already over the years, but uh, now there's plans, or hopes more so than plans, to bring Dole back to how it was 40, 50 years ago. There's a lot of history here, a lot of people grew up in this town, and uh, they would like to see it come back to life. 
So needless to say, Dole is a strange town with a strange situation. So we'll see what happens in the next 20, 30 years. I sense it's going to be more like Centralia where slowly the houses just got torn down. Because as you saw, a lot of these are not long for life. A lot of them have already started to cave in. So we'll see what happens. But it's odd that it's sandwiched between one of the largest ports in the world and a nuclear power plant. So I'm getting out of here. See you in the next video.